So before I start, uh, I would like to ask, am I audibly clear over there? Please, the voice is clear, sir. It's clear. So I'll yes. proceed with it. Okay. Yes. Now uh, I'll be starting with uh, with the topic on something called as a very interesting one called as tools of uh, design thinking as a such. Okay. Uh, this is one of the basic things and a very interesting uh, aspect of understanding design thinking. Many people know about uh, these tools. Okay, uh, they might have used it in different context of it. Okay? Uh, but when we look at it from the design thinking, uh, these have got a different view altogether. Okay? So, <clears throat> what we want to do over here is, okay, uh, we are going to look towards each aspect of it okay, and try to understand how many tools are available. So, this session should be able to give us first thing, how many tools are there for design thinking? Second, what each tool contributes to the design thinking process. Okay. Uh, so, firstly, when we look at the first question over there, uh, the first thing that we are going to look at it is the, what are the tools of design thinking. Okay. So, when we look at it, okay, we are going to understand that tools are the methods through which design thinking really happens. Uh, and if I have to look at the role of these tools over there, uh, this is the main component of uh, design thinking as a such. Okay. So, we will be looking at these aspects. So, when we understand the tools over there, we find different tools. Okay. One, we find something called as visualization. Second, journey mapping. Third one is value chain analysis, mind mapping. and learning launches and lastly storytelling. So, if you look at it and if we count over there, we get roughly all together around 11 different tools okay, of design thinking. And when we look at this, each tool has got something added to it. Okay? So, it has got its own tentacles or if I have to say subsections okay, for each tool as a side. Okay? So, let us try to understand each of this. And we are going to understand something called as tools of design thinking as such. Let us take the first one, okay, which is called as visualization as such. Okay? And if I have to speak over that, people do a lot of things of this. What we are going to do today is, okay, we are going to do a very interesting thing. Okay? Not only we are going to look at uh, this aspect of uh, visualization over there, but we are going to give some assignments to it. Okay? So, there will be some assignments. Uh, uh, assignments to it. Okay. I hope so there are some chats which I am coming over there telling that so it is not clear, no voice clarity over there. Uh, uh, more you also try to look at it from your end. If there is still not this, we will try to look in. Okay. So, it is okay for it. Okay. Uh, what we will do is that for each one, we have got some activities attached to it. So, that we understand this concept very clearly over there. Okay. So, let us take the first one called as visualization order. When we speak of the word called as visualization, uh, we are looking at something called as an uh, wherein there is a huge bundle of information which is available. Okay? So, there is a lot of uh, information which are available over there. Okay? And uh, where we look at it, uh, uh, <clears throat> where the information is abundant over there. Okay? And numbers. It might be into form of this one. Okay. So, it is an activity wherein the information is available in the form of text, numbers and image. It is about creating a physical image about what we want to visualize over there. Okay. So, visualization is basically how we create an physical image about a particular information as a such. Okay. And at one go, people should be able to understand. Okay. So, when we look at it, still little bit over there, okay, we try to create an mental images okay, and then make the human and comply over there. Okay. So, how you may want to comply over there. Okay. So, visualization is something which is an important tool to look at it. When we are doing a design thing,
So can you sir? So your voice is not audible. Some problem which it detected. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it showed some problem with my internet over. Uh, am I audible? And now it's audible. Sir. Okay. Okay. So in between, please tell me that it is audible so that I am comfortable over there. Sure. Sir. Okay. So I am on the right track. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for it. Uh, so the next slide, what we are going to look over there is that we are going to look at a visualization as a such. Okay. So look at this slide which tells about something called as an economic challenges. Okay. Now we have got economic challenges are of different type. Okay. One would be of the aspect called as okay, uh, employment, career flexibility, utilization over there okay, and so forth and so on. Okay. So in one particular image, okay, they have included all the aspects of the challenges over there. Let it be related to the pollutions, let, let it be related to the parents' expectation, or it may be culture over there, or, or the private funding, okay, or if they're related to the students, or so on. For each one, okay, they have tried to include all the aspects of this particular thing as a such. Okay. So, what we are going to do is that, okay, uh, what we are going to do in this case is that. We are going to sit down okay, and visualize something over there. Okay. For this, okay, for this, I'm going to give the first assignment that you have to go through it. Okay. The first assignment over there okay, is okay, of giving an Excel sheet wherein you will come across with something on visualization. Okay. What we have done over here is Okay, I hope you are able to see the particular Excel chart. Okay. We see products A, B and so on. Okay. We do see these products over there. Okay. What I want over there is that whatever you are able to see, say for example, if you are able to see A, B. Uh, sir, sir, sorry to interrupt. The sheet is not yeah. visible, Excel sheet. Yeah, please tell me. The Excel sheet is not visible, sir. Excel is not visible. Okay, yes. Okay, now we are able to see the Excel chart. Yeah, yeah, it's visible, sir. Okay, now once you look at a particular product over there, okay, you see a product, okay, Excel over there. Okay, so I'm I'm putting it across. Okay, now I have got some I've highlighted into yellow. Okay. So, this has got product A and product B. Okay. Product A has got a particular price, product B has got a particular price. Sales are there in different regions. Okay. In region A, these are the sales. In region B, these are the sales. Region C, these are the sales. Region D, these are the sales. Okay. So, what you want over there is that you need to use okay, uh, uh, you, you want to use something called as okay, what are the sales for each product you need to do over there? Sales for each region, compare between each region over there. Highest selling product, lowest selling product, highest unit selling region, lowest unit selling region over there. Okay, so what you are supposed to do is that you need to complete an assignment based on this one. Okay, what I want over here is that. I want the complete data in one particular frame. Okay, so that is where we are trying to learn something called as visualization. Okay, I hope so you have got a clarity as to what you are supposed to do. Okay, I hope so you are clear with what you are supposed to do. Okay, you want to work on. Okay, I'll give you some 10 15 minutes time to create an Excel chart. Okay, and then prepare the results over there. Okay, I hope you are clear with that. Any doubts, please put it in the chat box. I can take it over there. What you are supposed to do is that you have seven points. Okay. 
to prepare a chart. Prepare a chart over that is what is expected over there. People are asking how to do it. You can share online. Or email me. Okay. TMK VTU at gmail.com. Please email me to that particular. I will give some 10 minutes time to look at it.
I'll try to increase the so that it is visible. You can share it on your uh, part B, Manohar P. Creating a sense working on it. It's time consuming. Okay. Uh, uh, Professor Vidya, we have to look at it and try to prepare it. Okay. I'm just looking at it. Uh, if you are able to get the data. to find out if there is anybody okay few of them have shared okay uh, few of them have looked into it okay uh, madam but i've not received few of them have already done that we have not received The challenge is when you use a word called as visualization in one particular picture, the whole information should be there. Okay. Uh, it, it, it should not be something which has to be done right now. It's something, okay. It's, it's one of the best thing which I would look at is visualizations first tool in design thinking is how you put it across in one particular slide, the, all, all the information about that. Okay. So that is one of the things what we learn about visualization. And when we do this, we have to be very clear about what all information is to be done. So for their convenience, I've done this particular Excel sheet over. It is just an, uh, a sample of it. Okay. Maybe you might have used other tools of visualization called as Tableau okay, or Power BI, okay, Microsoft Power BI. Okay. I've used for a demo purpose Excel over there. Okay, wherein an Excel is a very basic one which is being used over here. Okay, maybe you can use something else to create much better or impacts as a such. Okay, uh, uh, for for your convenience, we have just made it as a convenience worker. To understand the concept, this one. Is it. I'm looking for more emails. If there is any query, please put it on the chat box over there. Okay, so I can take it as such. <clears throat> Mr. Prabhu Nag uh, Nagendra has asked if you can send me to pmkvpu at gmail.com, I'll take it forward. I'll show it to the whole. If you can email me, that will be nice because we can share it from my end. There is one from K Manjula. Okay, I have not received, madam, the Excel attachment over there. If you can resend it. I will be really, really thankful to you so that you can take it to the participants. Dr. Anuradha okay, has asked over there, can you once again repeat the task, sir? Okay. Now you, you can see on the uh, this one over there, there is an Excel over there. Okay. There are products A and product B. Okay. For this, there is some price that has been put across. Okay. And there are some regions over there. Okay. There are one, two, three, four regions over there. 
for this information you need to use the excel to visualize over there what you are supposed to do is that you need to first sales for each product sales for each region compare sales between each region highest selling lowest selling highest unit lowest unit over there okay you have to put all this into one particular chart over there okay that is what is been expected as a such let's look at it if anybody has sent over there i uh, find okay we do have somebody I received an, uh, this one from Vaishak, okay, uh, okay, uh, Vaishak, uh, uh, we find that uh, you have not really shown the graphs over there, okay, you have only shown the data analysis, where is the visualization, where is the visualization, you need to visualize, show it in a particular graph, okay, and try to show it as a such, you need to visualize somewhere down the line, and try to tell. Okay. Now we do have uh, uh, one <coughs> thing received from okay, uh, Prabhakar sir. Okay, um, uh, we have received from uh, Sriram College of. Uh, okay, now we have received it. Uh, there is something which is really making sense over here. Okay, this is one of the things which you find in visualization. Okay, uh, let 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 me take it uh, one particular thing. Okay, uh, let's let's let me share this. Okay, let me share this particular uh, thing. Okay, as to how they have done with this particular aspect of uh, this one. Okay, let me share as to how sir has uh, really done. Okay, I hope so it is visible. To most of the people, okay. Look at it, okay. At one particular point, okay. Sir has uh, included the, most of the things, okay. At one level over there, the price, okay, for product A, B, C, okay. He has taken over there the prices of it, sales difference over there, and in one chart, the whole data is getting compelled, okay, or it's been seen over there, okay. So this is something which is. What, what we really look at is called as visualization. Okay. Like this, if we can receive one more, then we can take it forward over there. Okay. If there is anybody who has, okay. Yogesh has sent me something over there. Okay. I'm not sure about what you're supposed to do. Yogesh, I hope so. Now you are able to visualize and see what you're supposed to do. Okay. I think uh, people are able to understand what do you mean by visualization. Okay. So when you do a design thinking, first thing is how good you are with the visualization over there, okay? Uh, and if you look at it, at one point, we are able to tell the participants or the people how a design can be visualized over there, okay? Ultimately, when we do all this activity, okay, of this, we are trying to understand, okay, one particular aspect, okay, is that how good we are in terms of visualizing the things as a such, okay? So that is the first thing, Okay, when you go back over there, you find and refer it to the activity, how you put the information into visuals over there. Okay, like what we had of a particular search, okay, the left hand side there was a table and right hand side there was a graph. Okay, what they did was they took all the information of the text numbers and put it into a graph and created a story 
out of it and that is called as visualization over there okay what they did was they created a physical image of that particular information okay and that is called as visualization same thing i think you are, you are able to relate to what we did an activity that's what we tried to came out with it okay so that is how it is maybe few people would like to share with it okay i'll take it forward if you if you can share it in the future i can definitely respond to it those who have not understood please i'll share with them you can ping me or you can email me and give the visualization data you can do it and try to understand it okay i'm quite open to it okay that's that's how it's here okay let me take the next one next one is also a very very interesting tool over here okay it is called as journey mapping journey mapping okay and a very simplified word to this okay is a very simplified word to us is called as experience mapping in life and every day we go through different types of experiences okay maybe okay uh, attending this online session itself is an experience okay is a journey to it okay that is that is how we look at it as an experience okay that is that's how it is what is required over here is that okay how do we put this particular aspect of experience in the form of an map or okay mapping and experience okay now why do we read this okay visualization we understand that that tool is required for one particular thing called as sir when we want to know how the product is doing what it is happening or how the process is doing we can understand okay journey mapping why do we really require it when we start with design thinking okay and when we start with design thinking we start getting something called as okay different products or different ideas okay and these ideas have to be put in a particular process okay and ideas are nothing else but past experiences okay of people and these past experiences have to be given a particular shape and that is called as journeys over there okay and journeys alternative name is called as an experience mapping of them is an ethnographic research method that focuses on tracing the journey okay how the idea came in why the idea came in when the idea came in okay what was the reason for that particular idea what was the reason for developing this particular kind of an thought process over there that is called as tracing the journey okay wherein he or she interacts with an organization to receive a particular aspect okay wherein these aspects are more of an emotional okay and these are being used to achieve the objectives of the needs okay maybe we have used the word called as customer you can use for the aspect of saying of an organization or for a design order okay let's look at a particular thing okay i hope so it is quite visible to you all okay i am going to expand this okay and show you a journey map over there okay let's look at it okay we all like to switch to a mobile phone plans agree okay so maybe i am using airtel today i want to use jio okay now that is the idea that is the idea okay when you do that you need to look at it why you want to do this okay so for this we created a template there is a template called as journey mapping template over there okay where in the first left hand side where i am pointing over there it is the name of this okay second and the right hand side okay you find why are you doing do, do this so what are you trying to achieve your expectations over there okay then when you look at it can you define why you want to do this can you compare between it can you negotiate between this and then select over there okay while doing this you also do something called as opportunities okay and then come to a conclusion okay let's look at it okay jamie needs to switch is it visible is it visible visible sir visible ah, okay. <coughs> Uh, Jenny needs to do one thing: switch her current mobile plan. 
okay maybe she might be using a uh, company a okay and she wants to switch to company b okay why wants to do it plan that can save her more money without having to sacrifice usage limit so ultimately uh, what she wants over there is that she wants to save money okay so that is the basic thing okay what he expects from this clear online information okay so whatever it's over there the new plan should be able to give clarity ability to compare then break down with that okay and the most important friendly and helpful customer support okay so these are the expectations of it okay what she has got as an opportunity over there okay is offers okay offers to her okay into terms of amount okay and she can get more of a text message or a chat in fact this is a old one we can look it as more internet data or so on okay so there is an opportunity if she does that what you need to do or there is that she does it she defines it reviews her current plan is the current plan of company a good okay define the plan parameters okay uh, and ultimately she comes to a conclusion saying that i can pay less so defines it okay then if i switch over there i can get or can pay less or okay what i want to do what i want to get if i get into okay plan b if i get okay i can watch more commercial okay we can get more consumer websites use current career tools to compare the options over there okay so she is getting more better options over there what she does now is that she contacts the company b okay and tells that she wants to shop that particular thing okay and ultimately select okay so this is called as the journey map okay what we did over here is okay we created one particular scenario or a particular situation wherein we told the people how was your journey of doing a particular process okay jenny did one particular process over here okay she did one process of switching the mobile plan a to plan b okay if i told you that people switch over there okay but we do not answer the call as why okay so to do that you need to create a journey map okay you need to do a journey map as a such okay so that is where you find people trying to work on something called as journey map let me give you one more assignment to you all okay i hope so you are quite able to look at it okay now you have to buy okay like what jenny purchased okay you need to purchase electrical motorcycle or okay you need to purchase something called as electrical motorcycle okay you want to buy electrical motorcycle okay now i'm going to give different brands there are different brands over there okay so instead of brands of motorcycles over there i'm going to tell okay you are going to switch from petrol okay from petrol okay to electrical okay how would be your journey of buying okay why would you switch to electrical over there okay how would you do that okay you need to complete that particular process okay so to do that process okay you are going to use the same model what jenny did over there okay okay as to how the jenny try to look at it okay so we are going to use your name you can put it as your name as abc okay scenario okay from petrol to electrical i am giving you over there okay you need to put your expectation why you are going to use this okay your expectation from the electrical scooter so on phase 1 how you are going to do how you are going to think how you are going to say over there okay so basically you are going to do something called as define compare negotiate and select over there okay in the process you are going to look towards your opportunities okay so what i want to leave to you is that for next 15 minutes okay you have got a second assignment is that you need to use your journey mapping thinking okay for purchase of okay electrical vehicles as such okay 
okay i think you can do it okay and once you do that okay you can write it and share with me over there okay through the email through the email okay if anybody has got any excuse on over there queries please ask me i'll be able to answer you over there okay is the screen visible so that you can start with the assignments over there okay now look at this use this particular aspect of jenny over there and start working as it okay so i got 15 minutes to complete this particular process there's second thing over there okay please start now i hope so you are able to hear what is the assignment okay let me come back to you all many people are asking the same thing okay now are you able to look at your journey map order are you able to look at my your journey map okay can you create a journey map for buying electrical motorcycle electrical motorcycle over there okay like what we did okay and can you share with us the example for that is okay we have with this a particular thing an example of this okay left hand side as to how jemi did over there what we are really learning is that how to document somebody's information basically what we are learning over here is that we come out with this we do it in a routine way in a abruptly order what we are learning over here is that we are trying to do something in a better way okay trying to document it systematically that is what is called as journey mapping okay and the advantage of this is that we go into the depth of each aspect and then come to a effective decision that is why in design thinking we need to use journey mapping as a such
Yeah, no voice means that I am trying to speak to everybody. Okay, and I have given assignment over there. Again, no voice. Okay, there is something I have given assignment. I think people have joined now or somebody have looked at it. Please try to look it. It is better that you are in a track of it. It's assignment. Yes, it's an assignment. It's an assignment which you are supposed to work on it. Okay, and write it and send it to me. Uh, the people asking whether should we write or submit it, those who are now only, yes, okay, it takes quickly, it does not take much time, okay. What we are doing over here is that we are trying to understand if you want to buy an electrical vehicle, what you are going to do, okay. So, we did that particular session over there, it is a simple thing, okay, how much time will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete this. In the previous sessions, we did that and people did answer a lot about it. You can prepare a word document. Okay. Uh, you can prepare a word document and you can send it to me, or you can put it through an email. Uh, and but by the way, I have received a lot of emails from Can we send it the same Excel sheet? Yes, you can. What we ultimately want is the data. We want the information. Of course, you can send it. I had some boxes from Parishuram. What is that? Is it audible? It's audible, sir. It's audible. Okay, okay. People are telling they are not audible over there. Okay. No, no, it's audible, sir. Uh, there is a simple request over there. People who are finding it audible difficulty over there, please check it from your end also. There might be a technological problem from both the ends. Okay, so try to look at it from both the ends. We'll be thankful to it. Professor Seema, okay, is my voice clear now? Okay, please check in your point of view also. There might be some uh, problem with your connectivity over there. Now, there is also few people are joined now, I, see, I feel so, okay. Uh, you need to do one thing. You look at the journey map what we are trying to give. Okay. I'm just looking at few of one or two or then who can have to send it as a journey maps. Okay. If anybody has sent it, it's fine. Okay. Or else we have to move on to the next slide as a such. Okay. I think uh, uh, there is something.
there is no software for the journey mapping over there it is just a simple text of it what you are supposed to do okay what i'm going to do over here is that i'm going to leave you for some time you can send it later on okay so what we learn over here is that we did something called as journey mapping as a such okay now we'll go to the next one okay and try to understand okay try to understand the uh, this one This is how we are going to look at it. And next, or the third tool of design thinking, okay, that is called as value chain examination over there. Okay, this is where you look towards something called as how you are going to create a value chain over there. Okay, value chain over there. Okay, so value chain is how an organization interacts with okay, the different partners over there. So you are trying to create something called as instead of the use called as supply chain over there, we are using something called as value chain as a such. Okay, value chain is the one wherein it interacts with different partners of a particular process. Okay, maybe it might be producer, it might be market, or somebody distribution over there, and try to look at it. Okay, and trying to improve the capabilities and the intentions next one we are going to understand this with a particular example we are have taken the example of an software company of creating value chain analysis in this lakshmi is a software development manager for a software house okay she has okay she has her team to handle short Okay, software announcement to many clients. Okay, as a part of team over there. Okay. What she is supposed to do is that they use value chain analysis to do what? Think about how they can deliver excellent service to their client. Okay. Now look at it. They are using design thinking tool of value chain analysis to do what? To deliver excellent customer service to their client. Okay. During this over there they use different activities as a part of this session okay first they will do over there is that okay trying to create value for the client through what one order taking okay second enhancing specification scheduling software development programming okay secondary testing delivery and support okay now if you look at it how many values or the chain it has created over there it has created the chain of these many aspects over there okay so for each chain okay for each aspect over there they need to create a value for this okay so this is a typical kind of a software development wherein they take the orders they look at a specification they schedule it and so on so what we did over here is that we created the first parameter that is called as chain as such okay so this chain okay needs to have something called as value over there. to do this okay she finds out to create value she needs to do one thing so lakshmi comes out with an aspect called as sir i need to do one thing i need to hire people well i need to train people well okay so that we can create value to this okay we can create a value to this so to do this okay she does this next okay next she and her team focuses on giving the aspects of it okay and trying to create values as a such if you look at the left hand side image okay i have increased okay the image size okay if you look at it how she did was order taking she created value faster answers to the phones okay knowledge of the customer situations understanding their needs managing expectations okay so she told the teams over there teams need to be updated trained and understanding how the client is looking into it okay so that is what is called as value creation over there okay value was this okay and the value factor was this and this is what they created okay specifications okay it should be the team should be able to create value by making it comprehensive easy to understand over there okay so the team was trained in writing the codes okay 
how to look at it describing each activity, activity order okay lastly this scheduling order okay so if you look at it okay each one was something called as a value okay and this is how they created called as an value analysis order okay this is called as value chain analysis value chain analysis is basically to understand how we are able to create the partners okay so in this case of a software order there are different partners before that okay one of the partners what they had was okay was the client okay then the software developers third one the employees okay how effective they are in terms of creating value okay to these customers okay or the customer through their employees as such okay that's called as value chain analysis okay so why do we have to need and understand or to look at it when you design a product or a service you need to look at it what is the supply chain or what is the chain of working as a such okay we come across with different kinds of workings or the process order each process has to look at from the value perspective order okay it has to be looked from the value perspective okay so that is why we need to do okay that is why we need to do okay these aspect of understanding okay <coughs> that is how we can look it into this particular aspect of it and try to understand it in creating value for it okay that is called as value chain analysis order okay and the same was the example which was taken and try to look at it okay next one is a very interesting one okay which you need to all try to look at it okay that is where you are going to do a lot of things okay that is called as mind mapping that is called as mind mapping order okay uh, mind mapping mind mapping i think many people might have done in their classrooms in the past in different context mind mapping is okay is nothing else but visualization okay it is how the ideas have come and what it has done okay it has to used in generate visualize structure classify and so on okay so it is something which has got a lot of things to do okay or a lot of things which have to look into it okay so we are trying to look at it one example of mind mapping order okay look at it time management is the theme okay if you look at it okay. this has got different aspects over there if you want to manage the time effectively okay you need to be effective in your action plans you need to be clear with clarity you need to monitor your activities you need to communicate people right in time okay <clears throat> you need to be smart enough in trying to be more specific agreeable as a such if you want to manage time you need to have a choice over there okay you need to also have something called as let goes okay if you want to manage the time you need to look at work life balance okay and if you want to manage time you need to also delegate okay and you need to think what is important and what is not important okay so when we did this okay we are creating different maps over there okay the central theme was time management okay was the time management to do the time management we created different tentacles over there okay it might be clarity it might be monitoring or the key issue okay why we do this is that we want to know what are the outcomes of a particular idea okay how the particular idea is effective or ineffective as a such okay so do that that's why they use something called as mind map okay let's have one activity to understand mind mapping okay i've got a particular a uh, aspect called as okay we have taken the case of an road traffic management taken the case of road traffic management okay road traffic management has got a different tentacles okay 
if you start over there if you want to manage the road traffic okay what you are supposed to do over there okay i have got different aspects over Can you put it in your chat box? Okay, what would be the different aspects of road traffic management? Okay, if I have to, okay, exactly. Okay, it's more like a fish bone. Okay, fish bone over there. Very true. Very true. Okay, Sashi Prabhu. Okay, Nagendra has put it over there in chat box. It's a fish bone over there. Exactly. Okay, new terminology. Okay, new things. Okay, you can look into it. The same old thing. Okay. Check for the license order. Okay, I want to do something called as. Okay, I'll put you in a conditions called as. Okay, we are near the. Let me take Bangalore's most busiest place over there, MG Road. Okay, MG Road. Okay, if you want to do traffic management at MG Road, what you're supposed to do? What you're supposed to do? <clears throat> what you want to take the steps over there? Okay, people are telling time management. Time management, fine. What do you want to do with the time management? I need to manage the traffic there. Okay, I'm I'm from the smart over there. People are telling something called as one over there is called as which has come very interestingly. I've got over there called as smart. Okay, smart traffic signal. Smart traffic signal. Okay, that is really nice one. Okay, what do you mean by a smart traffic signal? I'm taking it one. Okay, a really nice answer which I've got it. Okay, from Mr. Jain. Okay, first one I've got is as answer called as smart traffic signals. That means when the traffic is more, you want to regulate it. The traffic is less, I want to be different over them. Okay, agree. What else? We have got one over there. Anybody else who can put it over there? Barricading really makes sense? No. Signals over there. Metro, fine. Okay, that's all the options are available. But right now the traffic is really jam over there. Smart routes. What do you mean by smart routes? Speed control. Okay, I'm going to use something called as speed control. Zebra crossing. Automated signals expanding over there. Survey of density over there. Fine. Okay, I've got something called as a very one over there. Amita Jain. Okay. This is the one very good over there. That's called as dedicated lane. Speed checkers. Okay. Speed trackers. Okay, you put in over there. I've got fifth one. Block the early entry. Traffic controller. Fine. What is he going to do over there? Okay. What is he going to do over there? I'm trying to put across the mind mapping over there. Private transport instead of public transport. Public transport instead of private transport over there. Okay. Uh, fine. Already the public transports are there. But uh, smart vehicle we can fly. Oh, there is something over there. Kavita Suda has told over there telling that let's put it on flying machines. Okay. Uh, to be with, uh, <laughs> but the fact is to fly also you require a lot of license over there. There's a lot of buildings that be not, it's, it's not going to work out. Okay. Uh, full time work from home. Okay, that's always an option over there, but that traffic is not being used over there. Okay, try to encourage people to use bicycles. That's a sensible. Sensible. Okay, I'm putting you one important question over here. Okay, why our traffics are not effective? What is the reason for this problem? What is the 
problem what is the main problem over there rules are not strong fine rules are very strong rules are there okay i got one very interesting answer called as awareness rules violation okay cities are not playing fine there is a two big thing over there with whatever we cannot change now okay uh, oh there is something very interesting over there jyoti told over there impatience okay people have lost their patience diversion of fine sometimes over there roads are not planned well fine that cannot be changed also something which you have to look at it missing concern for others very true when you are driving people don't really look at it what is happening over there okay social awareness is lacking peak time sensitization fine so may again you are putting it across real nice one over there that is called as discipline awareness and sensitization over there okay what about the other things in the other session over there we did the same exercise okay we got difference over there penalties okay do people will be getting away with the penalties they do pay and do the same thing every family has one vehicle they do not pull okay so pulling of it can be one of this high penalties concern for self okay i again come to some people as or awareness okay i'll trigger it and put it to one particular interesting thought process over here okay we'll put it across to one particular thought process okay should we tell the people to follow lane discipline that means lane for lane for two wheelers lane for four wheelers lane for trucks will that problem be solved exactly few people mentioned it will that problem be solved people say no why so there will be no more taking fine i am only taking into consideration the busy roads over there where we can put this but infrastructure should support i agree i agree with that but there are good roads now wherein the infrastructure is available can we tell people to follow lane discipline over there i am using one word called as lane discipline yes okay uh, instead of cameras and anything over there people okay i did, do did mention over there okay did mention about one thing over there okay uh, called as mentioning uh, something called as over there okay i'll give you quickly around 2 3 minutes to look at it and then we'll take it over there okay i'm getting a lot of answers i don't think so you need to look at it uh, <clears throat> okay am i audible now okay uh, video not audible over there fine okay a uh, voice okay now what we are trying to look at it is that okay we get so many things as an answer okay what we did over here is okay called as mind mapping okay what we did over here was mind mapping okay for one particular concept we got different options of it okay we got different option for this okay if you look at it minutely over there okay what is lacking in most of the traffic things in india 
is that of awareness okay that's why government takes a lot of measures to increase the awareness okay now if i have to look at it okay awareness level has increased to large extent in last 5 years or there okay if you look at it okay let's look at it from different sectors okay the elders are driving it seriously people who are in the mid age of okay they know what to drive when to drive or there they choose the peak hour times non peak hour times okay they are choosing or there okay um, then you find people trying to follow wearing the seat belts okay trying to use all the documents relevant documents so the proportion of this number has increased okay in a country like india where the population is too much okay and there is a problem of literacy it will take some time to get into a particular process okay but ultimately what we learn from this is that if you put a mind map okay like this we can definitely come out with a particular solution space okay we can definitely look into a particular solution space so this is what a mind mapping really teaches us okay that is what it really okay so it not about the vehicles or what about it so this is what we did this is how we looked at it okay and this is how we try to understand it as a such okay then okay i got something called as okay a quick one okay if you look at it okay it is called as rapid concept development okay wherein you find it with a uh, uh, concept development as a such okay most of the engineering faculties okay or people who are in the engineering domain do understand this concept development or designs of the criteria has been developed so a rough aspect or the rough thing that is called as concept development comes into the picture okay so this is a voice not prototyping exactly okay uh, harshini are you able to not uh, is everybody able to hear now my yeah, speaker audio. is still in yes yeah, yes audio. Sorry, audio. okay uh, i'm sorry repeatedly the host is trying to give me the answer it is uh, yes okay fine okay uh, but we need to keep on checking that's how the online thing is as how the online thing is okay it's called as assumption testing okay assumption testing is a tool to bring our hypothesis okay what is a hypothesis is that is it going to work or is it not going to work or not that is called as assumption testing okay so we assume will it really be accepted by the customers what product we have designed okay will it not really work over there okay so it is called as people are using a word called as prototyping over there okay prototyping over there that is called as an assumption i'll give one very interesting uh, thought for assumption testing over there okay how to improve students counseling process okay how to improve students okay uh counseling session uh, counseling process okay there is your assumption okay uh we can improve in fact counselings are making a lot of sense okay it is improving over there okay we still want to make it much better okay we want to make it better okay uh so how it can be done we can put it in the chat box i can take it over there okay i can take it over there okay from that point what's your the understand their problem from the perspective and talk to them okay Th that you already are doing it already are doing it i want to take it to the next level next level
make it structure already so much already structured if you look at it most of the colleges do have a structured counseling process what can be done next more to this have continuous conversations how 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 frequently look at it conversation okay there is somebody called as slow learner okay fast learner differentiate okay now there is something manohar over there has put over there okay sir has put it very very interestingly over there when you look at it we understand the problems but fail to find solutions for the problems okay and that is why the counseling comes into the picture okay we need to do it. maybe alternate days okay now look at it many of the faculties might be new to the profession okay and they might require some kind of a training as to how to counsel okay so faculty training okay it might be quite possible okay people who are experienced might be doing it very frequently but the newcomers over there to the over there personally connect fine <clears throat> collaborate with the parents too okay but are we not assuming too many things over here can we be little bit practical over there can we be little bit practical rational over here how frequently we can collaborate with the with the parents i am putting over here all the students who are undergoing counseling under you are normal good students are normal good students how do you look at it collaborate with the parents fine okay what else can we have something more practical regular meetings with whom with the students so how regular you need to have okay and today's generation they don't like to meet every time the time find it very different over there we need to look at it encourage through continuous interaction one on one communication why want to have a neurologist involved over there attach brighter students with the weaker students fine can we look at something called as our teaching methodology should be changed as per the expectations of the different learners over there confidence building storytelling trained counseling yearly ones with parents and monthly one time with students okay it makes sense in a month it makes over there it makes sense okay fine yearly once we meet the parents and tell about it and once in a year we try to over there okay identify interest over there award okay discuss more value with students once in a month over there okay uh, now this is very important nowadays okay but students have to be made it in a different way they have to be communicated over there okay proctoring system over there develop an app okay what do you want to do with that what do you want to achieve with, with an app why you want to monitor people what is the achievement of doing that particular thing is that there is something which you need to look at it okay now when we did this particular discussion over there we assumed okay we assume different types of processes over there okay we looked at it from a different perspective okay or from different point of view okay we found out okay from a different aspect over there we try to understand and try to assume something over there okay we assume the particular system okay and try to previous 
okay and try to give us something called as an hypothesis as a such okay so we try to highlight it and hypothesize a situation to improve in fact the present system of counseling is better okay but what we learn over here is that okay how to put a hypothesis how to look at the assumptions and so on next one okay we have something called as prototyping over here okay prototyping is another word which has been used okay uh, is been used okay wherein we try to create a model of a particular thought test it validate it okay design the assumption and then conceptualize okay as a such that is called as prototyping okay i am not going to get into the depth of prototyping because of most of the engineering processes okay, we do use a word called as prototyping okay and in design thinking it is more or less the similar over there there is nothing new which we have done as a prototyping okay it might be software prototyping or it might be an prototyping of an machine okay of a or a prototyping of an design of wireless and design over there circuit boards and so on okay so on lot of counts and lot of context we have used something called as prototyping as such okay next one okay uh, is called as co creation over there okay co creation what we have got it over there okay so what we have got over there is called as co creation is based on the users okay how we can collaboratively trying to do together over there okay to work towards a shared goal okay what we are trying to speak over here is that okay i'm trying to tell out one thing over here it is called as co creation is nothing else but work in a team you need to make or encourage people to work in a team so that their ideas are defined their ideas are set in they are clear they think and they realize it and achieve over there okay what we do over there is that uh, in many a times when you are working in a group okay uh, the co creation really do not happen over there so as a tool you need to work very seriously towards okay in creating the co creations as such okay next one is called as an value generation assumption of an potential new growth initiative in the market okay that is called as learning launches okay uh, we do all the learnings over there and when we try to do something called as launches it is called as okay learning launches okay uh, so it's something called as if i have to tell over there prepare a document and try to look into it okay try to look at it so it's called as a learning launch over there okay fully new product rolls out okay a learning launch is then learning experiment conducted quickly in experiments to gather to gather something called as market data over there will this product work will this product not work over there that is what is going to do is called as gather market driven data over there okay this is called as so before you launch over there you do a quick market survey and try to understand will it work will it not work over there okay it is called as okay uh, <clears throat> something called as launching the learning the launch over there you prepare a report okay you prepare a report okay and then you try to launch it and try to understand a particular thing over there what i am going to do the next one is very important for as a two okay last this one over there is a very important that's called as storytelling okay it is going to be a storytelling based on that you can create okay the faculty members can create a very interesting stories okay and then they can use it as a such okay they can use it as a such okay so there will be a lot of things which you can look into so there is a last technique called as storytelling okay i will tell you one story and based on that i want an answer to it okay let's look at it as a story okay the story's first character his name is mr ram okay ram is an graduate okay and he graduated in the year 1990 Okay. so this is an old story or there which will find it in 1990s okay he graduated in an area okay called as bachelor of arts so he is an 
VA. Okay. Like any graduate in 1990s, okay, they try to look at for a job. Okay. And unfortunately, the job markets, okay, there are more people, less jobs. Okay. So he was struggling to get a job. Okay. His father owned okay, one grocery stores. Okay, I'm, I'm telling over there a grocery store over there. Okay, so the whole family's living was through the groceries stores over there. So as he was looking out after graduation, a job, he was working and helping his father in the grocery stores. Okay, as he looked worked over there in the grocery store, he felt a need over there. That is where the idea came into the picture. And the idea was something which we are very used to it now called as, can we have something called as supermarket? Look at it. It's called as a supermarket. So design thinking starts with an idea. Okay. Design thinking starts with an idea. Okay. Okay. Design thinking starts with an idea. Okay. So they start with something called as idea. So idea was supermarket okay so he started with the working on supermarket as an idea so we try to look at it will a supermarket work work over there will it not work over there okay so i'm i'm taking you the context of the year 1990 okay so he started to look at it. and after doing a market survey okay and he launched over there and told that we can go ahead with supermarkets over there okay so he started with the first supermarket okay, in Bangalore. I'm using a city order called as Bangalore. Okay. In Bangalore, they did this. The first supermarket in 1990. Okay. It worked well so well. Okay. Within a year time, it became a super hit. Okay. Everybody started to find it the most convenient store. Okay. Everything started and people were very happy. And it all became something called a super hit. Okay. Looking at this, he said, I should have one more supermarket okay, in Bangalore. Okay. So within a year time, he got one more supermarket done. Okay. And that was also super hit. By this time, now he has got around 20 employees and the turnover has reached 10 lakhs. Money started to flow in. Okay. When the money flowed in, he said, I'll do one more thing. I'll expand it to other cities. Okay. So he expanded it to Chennai. Okay. Third store opened over there. Okay. Look at it from the grocery store, the idea came off and supermarket. It went to Chennai now. Third store opened. Chennai was also super hit. So within two years, it got a super hit. And in five years, he expanded it to all India over there. And there were almost around 22 stores operating for him. Okay. More than 300 employees take okay. stocks into crores. Okay. Now, my friend, okay, my friend, okay, Mr. Ram wants every day report okay wants every day report okay what would be the design thinking process or a tool for every day reports over there okay i'm putting the first question over there okay after hearing the story okay after hearing the story there's the first question over there called as okay what mr ram expects as a report every day from the stores question number one okay can you can you tell over okay i'll give you five minutes time to think what should be the content of that report content of that report Total cash flows, sales for the day, okay. 
one total sales per day item wise demand for the certain order let's let's understand foreign country you can take him ram over there maybe order and supply profits fast moving so how many stores he has got now 25 stores over there stock and inventory stock and inventory sales per day is he in the auditing no he is the owner owner wants to know what is happening sales and stock of the day through graphs and charts find there is a tool footfall okay remember if we <clears throat> keep on telling me over there let's look at it another 5 minutes customer trends what is he going to do with that customer trends overall sales per day that's okay fast moving goods customer care so there's some very interesting or the demand of the product more more can be added to the product can we have more additions to that products every day sales are going super hit out of stock products customers over there customer care employee care very true losses you can use ai and ml for all this you can okay let me put a uh, one uh, particular thing for this okay let me uh, put it in a very simple way over there okay in a very uh, this one as a such okay how many stores are there okay fine thanks for the answers okay thanks for the answers over there okay 25 or so on great if all 25 write about their sales okay and if they are writing it around 10 pages every day okay consolidated report okay it comes around 200 pages do ram has that much time no okay what he has got time is to read max up to two pages max up to two pages okay so what is supposed to do in this is that he wants two important aspects one how much is the sales how much is the profit every day from each stores okay couple of people did answer this couple of people did answer this the right answer is okay if you are able to understand it from the sales okay and okay the profits over there that is quite important rest all okay uh, rest all okay can be managed by the managers and he can look into something called as development okay what we look over here was okay what we did over here was we looked at something called as an story okay we try to tell you something called as an story okay based on the story okay we try to create an idea okay we try to create an idea over there okay idea was created okay we created something called as an idea okay and that idea okay that idea started to work okay in doing something called as 
design thinking okay and this is called as the concept or the tool called as storytelling as a such okay so this is was one of the samples to understand storytelling as a such okay so storytelling comes with something called as success of the product and how it started over there okay with this okay we end up with today's session on understanding tools of design thinking as a such okay i'll be leaving this ppt okay the powerpoint presentation with the organizers i'll be emailing it to them okay you can always use that particular thing okay from their point and such okay any questions i can take it from now participants again awesome, thank you post your questions in the chat box okay nisha is asking how to submit over there okay we can submit it to my email id which is there in the chat box thanks a lot any questions feedback link yeah it will be shared now any questions i'm okay and if all the ppts were we get means it will be too helpful to sir definitely i'll be sharing my ppt with the organizers i'll be giving it to them you can take it from them how do we strategize the best method so my there is no good point of looking at which method would be looking at it for each different context of your design thinking over there situations would be different for design thinking for that situation you can use it okay like for example people are not able to understand your idea use a story okay you are not able to get clarity on a particular thing okay use something called as prototyping or use something called as journey mapping that will give you a lot of information any proper formulated way of using for different context different things i think we can use one more slide in that slide i'll tell you for different context where you have to use this tools over there definitely definitely you can use it for purely technical concepts over there even for the mathematics you can use these tools these tools over there definitely sir what would be expectation expect related to outcome should you develop a plan or mini ed product okay suggest where the storytelling works the most okay now if you if you have developed a prototype okay uh, if you if you are trying to tell a prototype and you need to convince an investor over there use a story use a story okay it makes sense are there any tools for creating a story no you need to read a lot of books a lot of life situations will give you a lot of stories please put it across over there any textbooks for this yes we do can get it over there okay i'll i'll be sending across the textbooks as a such uh to teach the students and make them use this ppt is try to create yourself you can build it over there 
ಏನು ಸರ್ ಇದು ಲಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೈವ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಸರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫಿಟಿಯಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಕೋರ್ಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆನ್ ಎನ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ i think we can take it from this if you got anything please email me i'll i'll take it forward from that time okay so that's okay. that's yeah yeah thank you sir uh, thank you for sir uh, for sharing information on tools for design thinking uh, which you have covered tools such as visualization journey mapping uh, mind mapping rapid concept development uh, value chain analysis counseling process prototyping co creation learning launches and so on So we are grateful for your time and effort you took to share your thoughts and experiences, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks, thanks, sir. Yeah, thanks, sir, for giving me an opportunity. It was really indeed a good thing over there. Okay. I'll I'll share my PPTs with you. You can share with the participants in their group sure. also. Sure, definitely, sir, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, 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 sir.